Good evening. Let me begin by thanking the Chamber of Commerce for inviting me to the annual Candidates Night here at the Old Colony Sportsman's Club. Thank you for the opportunity to introduce myself to the townspeople who will be casting votes in the upcoming election on Saturday, May 2nd. I am a lifelong resident of Pembroke. I grew up on Plain Street where my dad still lives and currently reside on Gurney Drive with my 23-year-old son, Greg, and my 17-year-old daughter, Amy. My son is a 2004 graduate of Silver Lake and is presently employed as a Halifax paramedic. And my daughter is presently a member of the junior class at Pembroke High School, very much looking forward to her senior year. I am a 1978 graduate of Silver Lake, a 2006 graduate of Massasoit Community College, and a candidate for a Bachelor of, Art, Bachelor of Arts degree in Business Management at Eastern Nazarene College in 2009. I am currently the chairperson of the Pembroke Board of Assessors. Professionally, I am a member of the Massachusetts Association of Assessing Officers, Plymouth County Assessors Association, Norfolk County Assessors Association, and past president of Plymouth County Assessors Association. In addition uh, to my assessing duties, I am the treasurer of the Pembroke High School cheerleading and a member of the Pembroke High School boosters. As an assessing professional over the past 20 years, I have worked for the communities of Pembroke, Whitman, and Cohasset. I, employed as the, I am employed as the deputy assessor for the town of Cohasset presently. I have been a certified Massachusetts accredited assessor since 1991. Each city and town in the Commonwealth is required to undergo townwide revaluation which is presented to the Department of Revenue for certification every three years. Without certification, a tax rate cannot be set. I have completed three successful certifications by the Department of Revenue. I have found over the years that the majority of taxpaying public does not have a good understanding of how assessors arrive at the assessed values for their property. It isn't really something most people think about until the tax bill arrives in their mailbox. <laughs> It's in that same vein that automobile excise tax valuation can be just as confusing. I think it is very important for the taxpayers in the town to be able to understand the process of the assessment and taxation of their property, whether real estate or motor vehicle. As an assessor, it's our responsibility to help the general public understand the process and realize that the office of the assessors is governed by mass general laws. My knowledge of the general laws, coupled with the understanding of the day-to-day -day operations of the office, make me the best candidate for assessor. It is important to keep, the, keep current with the ever-changing laws of the Commonwealth of Mass. I believe my experience has helped me, along with fellow board members Cindy Long and Libby Bates, to contribute to the professionalism of our local board of assessors under the policy direction of the elected board and the excellent department leadership of Maureen O'Connor. I am proud to be associated with the Pembroke Assessor's Office. It has been my privilege to serve the residents of Pembroke as a member of the board of assessors over the past three years I would like to continue to serve you. Please support my candidacy for re-election on Saturday, May 2nd. Thank you. Okay, uh, Board of Health, uh, Lisa Cullity.